Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So as it is, my brothers and sisters, I'm speaking to you know, the general public, as it is, don't underrate the acts of Mao Sampa as useless. No, don't. Don't. What Mao Sampa has done has happened before. And when it happened, the other faction, the Nevas Mumba faction, was almost useless. Was almost useless. And even now, much as I may not agree with Vanevas Mumbo on a lot of things, but really the damage which was done was grave. The damage which was done on MMD was grave because that party could not do anything. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't mobilize. They couldn't have meetings. I remember one time Vanevas Mumba went to have a meeting in Eastern Province. You know, they wanted to have a meeting in the bush. They were followed. They were arrested in the bush. Where well, they went to have a meeting. They couldn't function. It is the same thing with this, with what has happened now. Because Avena Nakachinda, now given Lubinda, they have got an injunction as well. They were trying to circulate. No, Mao Sampa, there is an injunction. The court has stopped Mao Sampa from performing as whatever, whatever. Hello? You got an injunction. Mao's got an injunction before you. Already as we speak, Vanakachinda, Vagiven Luinda, Navanani, Navanani, they have been bad from carrying out those duties. They have been bad. There is an injunction. And when they continued, Mao's added on a contempt. Right now, they are facing contempt for not obeying the court orders. For not obeying the court orders. They are facing contempt. So now, who is who? Who is going to stop who? Now you have filed an injunction and yet you actually don't even have the powers. Because uh, 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 that injunction, Mao Sampa will be saying these people don't even have powers to do this because there is an injunction to stop them from doing whatever it is. Nakachinda is signing there as Secretary General. He's signing as Secretary General appointed by who? Appointed by Given Lubinda. Given Lubinda who is facing contempt for disregarding the, the injunction. So, Nafi Kasavana, I hope you are following the arguments. And I'm just explaining these things for people to understand. For people, for you to understand. And what I want you to understand is that from an objective point of view, don't think that what Mao is doing and it will go nowhere. Mm -mm. It has got a serious ramifications. Serious ramifications. Serious ramifications. And some of those ramifications is what I'm telling you to say. Even those court whatever, whatever that they are coming up might be very difficult to stand in court because Mao's filed an injunction against those people even before this happened. This happened even before. And going further, going further, going further, it will be an issue of which party will be, will be recognized by government. Which party will be recognized by, which faction will be recognized. And as it happened, the PF were When the PF, they were in power, giving an example of MMD, they neglected Nevas Mumba. They put him aside. They started recognizing uh, 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 Felix Mutat. Now, today, we have this situation. 
Are you going to blame M A U P N D if they recognize a uh, Mao Samp? Because they can do what you did. And if they do that, it means that even when there is an election, even when there is an election, the one that will file or the adoption certificate that will be accepted will be that from Mao Samp. It will be that one from Mao Samp. So it is a very complex issue. When you talk about members of parliament, well, they will be there. But MMD, but during the time of PF, they even went to parliament to start destabilizing members of parliament. But nonetheless, the issue of members of parliament, I think it, it will not be disturbed. It will not be disturbed. And now let's even, let me even talk about the, the, the expelling of Mao Samp. You are expelling Mao Samp as who? There is an injunction that you can't perform party function. So how are you expelling Mao Samp? Mao Samp has been expelled. Who is, expel, expelling, who is expelling Mao Samp? Because you people, first of all, just the suspension, you have failed to, to uphold the suspension. You suspended Mao Sampa, and Mao Sampa went to court, and he barred the peer, the some leaders from functioning. He stopped them from functioning. They couldn't hold the suspension. Now, what about the expelling? After the injunction, if the suspension failed to hold, what about the exp uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the expelling of Mao Sampa? It can't stand. It can't stand as it is. It is a mess. It can't stand. Mao Sampa will be in parliament until 2026. Because if he wants, he can even take that one to court as well. He will take it to court and it will be in court until 2026. But all these confusions, all these confusions, where are they coming from? Could have... PF avoided them? Yes, they would have avoided this. These problems, much as you may not like me, much as you may speak against me, these confusions are coming because of Vaed Galungu. Some people are saying, no, why do you always talk about Vaed Galungu? Hey, what, what, what? I'm talking about Vaed Galungu. Vaed Galungu, ever later, who was If only Vaed Galungu was either courageous or gracious, courageous to come out and play the politics, to say I'm the president of PF, if only he could do that, he couldn't do it. And that's why I say, he has been a coward, and that is not an insult. He has been a coward. Or say, alternatively, if he realized he could not take over, he could not continue as president, he would have allowed the convention to happen so that a leader could have been elected. If only PF had gone for a convention and a leader, accept, a leader chosen from there, there, there wouldn't have been an issue. There wouldn't have been an issue. Even, even Mao Sampa, me, from my point of view, I don't think Mao would have won that he uh, would have won the presidency at the general conference. In my view, I don't think he would have, he would have won. I am very sure Brand Munduvile would have won. And if Bran Munduvile or any other person had won, I strongly believe that Mao Sampa would not be doing these kind of things. Mao Sampa would have accepted. Mao Sampa would have respected that result from the general conference. I am very sure of that. Mao Sampa would have accepted. But unfortunately, Bahalungu stepped on that. He stepped on that. No, you can't go and choose another leader. You can't go and choose another leader. Okay, then come out and declare that you are still active in politics. No, he can't do that. And this is why I have a problem with Waid Galungu. It is not anything that you think to say, what, what, what. I was frustrated. I was with Walungu for more than a year. Hoping that he would come back, hoping he would give direction, he never did. 
And that is what frustrated me. That is what made me abandon the Alewu de Rapport agenda. Nothing else. And today we are in this mess because of our Edgar Chagua Lungu. And you are really in a mess because really the UPND we will capitalize on this. The UPND will capitalize on this. And those of you who are trying to fight here and there and whatever, 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 I want to tell you that be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. Myself, I, had, I have six cases. These six cases, they didn't come from without. They came as a result of the fight that I was having. For Alewe Rapu, Alewe Rapu, Alewe Rapu, I attracted six cases. But some of you, in a Shakwatanama corruption cases, now some of you, Mungu Fuikisheko, Ukwa Linso Ketakwa Fuidomun, Ukwa Linso Ketakwa Fuidomun, some of you, you even have cases of corruption, uh, of uh, proceed of crime. Some of you who want to champion this and that and that, very soon you will cry. Very soon you will cry. Ed Galungu has immunity. Ed Galungu has immunity. But some of you, you don't have immunity. You are already in Kuma court. You are already in Kuma court. So in Nejo Mulea Iminina, Ukula Landa Landa Pama Koti Padia. When you stand up to talk, whoa, 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 be very careful when you are talking. I want just to remind you as a brother, be very careful when you are talking. Don't dare, don't dare those that are in power. If you was somebody was telling me there is a there is a lady who was telling me, no, you have a cool way. Hey, you are a coward also. What, 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 what? I'm telling you, I'm enjoying myself with the peace and I want to continue with this peace. I want to continue with this peace. I want to continue with this peace. But those of you who think that you are starting, you should question yourself. You should be very careful, especially you young boys and girls on social media. I know I have a lot of influence on a number of you. I know Mulangunfwa. And I'm begging you, be very careful when you are discussing these matters. Don't be too emotional. Don't be too emotional. What, 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 what? Ukafuile chanyongolo. Ukafuila ichanyongolo. Ukaile terela pofi. You just end up being in problems unnecessarily. You just end up being in problems unnecessarily. Some of you, tamwa kwa tanapa kumu woku woku. Ero wikale pa social media, wo, 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 accusing people unnecessarily of things that really may not be true. You end up yourself, you end up being in problems. Yes, you may love PF, you may love Edgar Lungu. I am simply asking you to say, be very careful because the people that you might be standing for, like the way I did, they are not as courageous and they are not as helpful. They are not as courageous. They don't come out. They are failing to come out. And they are not as helpful. In, I complained here. I used to complain here. Lawyers are not being paid. Lawyers are buying Shima for me. Kuma court. I was not helped. So be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful as you interact on these issues. Nami Papa Tavaich. I am not saying this out of whatever, whatever. I know. Be very careful how you interact with some of these issues. Don't don't end up being in problems. Don't be be be, be used only for you to come and suffer. By Edgar Lungu is quiet. Na lelo kawa by Edgar Lungu is quiet. Na mailo kawa by Edgar Lungu is quiet. Ela imumika lefa social media. Hey, 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 Edgar, Edgar, Edgar. Arizi, uyo. Arizi. Nishawa pata wa Edgar ini. Nishawa pata. Mfuli luefe, I'm just upset with him because Vasata worked so hard for PF. He worked so hard. And Valungu was given power on a silver platter. 
You can argue whatever you want, but Edgar Lungu never fought to become president. He never fought. Even when Sata was leaving, was leaving, uh, going to for medicals in, in London, he left by Edgar because, you know, he thought he's the, he's the only man that will not fight him. And later on, by Edgar lost power. When he was president, other people used his power. Other people used his power. Vena Kaiza used his power. Vanani, Vanani, Vakada, they used his power in the name of Vaid Galungu. Vaid Galungu, Temu Salula, is too weak. He's too weak. And you saw it when he, even when he was a president. Amakadas, Evale, Umtama presidential powers. And they did a lot of damage to this country. Using the powers of Valungu. Ngatualanda Kobanjika, they never indicate. When I criticize Valungu for allowing cadres to be all over and messing up the country, I was arrested for it. So this time around, when I opposition, power, how do you think PF would survive? PF will not survive. PF will not survive. But the only survival, if only Valungu can let go, because Valungu cannot fight for PF, and later on cannot fight it, uh, Haka in the Ichidema. He can't. Haka in the Ichidema has in the instrument of power. You can't fight Haka in the Ichidema. They failed to fight Haka in the Ichidema when they were in opposition. They failed to fight him. They failed to fight Haka in the Ichidema. That's why he managed to whip them with one million votes. Whether you agree with it or whatever, the fact is that he whipped them with one million votes. They failed to fight him. Now he's in power. How can Valungu fight him? Uh, Edgar, uh, fight uh, Haka in the Ichirim? So the only thing that uh, Edgar Chagalungu can do now is to truly step aside and allow somebody else to come in. Somebody that can actually even engage Mao Sampa. If you are Kuma Koti, we will not sort out the issue. But PF, don't hate me. What I'm giving you here is sound advice. It's something good. Going Kuma Koti, you will not survive. Especially that you are not in power. Power is in the hands of Bahaka in the even kuma courting our win on Mulandu, you take a person to court, you win a case. You need the law enforcers to come and help you effect the judgment. For example, you can take me to court that I'm owing you money. You can take me to court, I'm owing you money. Just like I'm owing Kalaka Mukashana. Yeah. Sometimes in the Russia, but at least quite a coffee and go fit. Nang Fenica, Nang Fenica hundred, whatever, two or so for Kutung Congo. But anyway, I've got if you am owing you money and you take me to court, the court at the end of the day will say, No, Mr. Tayari, you have to pay this money. And then uh, I say, No, I don't have money, whatever it is. They have to be the police to effect that judgment. Whereby, for example, they come in the house to come and grab property. To grab property from my house, you need the presence of the police. But if the government is on my side, even if the court issues a, a judgment, we saw it to big companies. You remember Zambezi Portland? You remember Zambezi Portland? One party won the case in court, but because the other party was being was had the government on their side, they couldn't enter the premises. The premises was surrounded by cadres and whatever, whatever. They couldn't. So, in other ways, what I'm trying to tell you is that don't get excited when you are hearing no, they never have court. They have gone to court. Hey, the court has whatever, whatever. No one is going to touch. No one is going to touch Mao Sampa. No one. You can go to police hundred times. Mao Sampa can even. He will even go back to that secretariat. He can even take over that secretariat, 
just like the secretariat for 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 MMD was taken over para pa Friday's corner pa Friday's corner pa ba never smumba ba liwa tamvishe po pa ba liwa tamvishe po ba never smumba kuli na kachinda ai lile pa yuko ba tamvishe ba never smumba even Mao Sampa can do the same to that secretariat na kachinda cannot go there Mao Sampa can go there and lock up that place he can do it and you can say no this confusion what am a politics say for yava anywhere politics are like this this is the nature of politics unfortunately this is the nature of politics so some of you, you might like no but that is lawlessness and what and what unfortunately am a politics say for yava now ukutampa fena ku you need pay for charge of which na ku you need even during the time of you need they would lock up offices of people. It is nature of politics like that. The one who is closer to the power takes it off. So going to court and whatever, whatever is useless. It's useless. The only solution, if you love PF, just be bored and join me to ask you, Ed Galungu, to step aside. Let him step aside. If he doesn't want to step aside, let him come and say, I'm the president of PF, but I don't think he can manage it now. So the best is, let him just step aside. Let somebody be elected, somebody who is reasonable, somebody who can go and engage people like Mao Samba to say, Mune, tetrical punch. How can we work? How can we survive? That's what PF needs. He's just killing PF even more. It will not go anywhere. It will not go anywhere. To our UPND, please handle these issues carefully. Because one thing that you can do, if you don't handle yourselves very carefully, they are reasonable Zambians. They are reasonable Zambians who will not like you if you encourage lawlessness. Some reasonable Zambians, neutral Zambians, they will not be happy with you. They will not be happy with you. And that may not be very good. And if those, uh, you know, the, 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 the public opinion turns against you, you are risking sponsoring a second political party. You are risking sponsoring a second political party. As economic and equity party, I'm telling you, me, I'm still economic and equity party. And I'm looking to say, this is an opportunity. How I wish I have the resources to come up. But if economic and equity party doesn't come up, we have socialist party. Out of all this nonsense that is happening, you might be building socialist party. You might be building socialist party. Be very careful. Don't think that, you know, the absence of PF will completely give you an advantage. You might create another political party that will, not, that will harass you big time. So be very careful when you are handling these matters that you don't mess up public opinion. You don't mess up the goodwill of the Zambian people. I've said uh, enough on this one, but basically just to wrap up, just to wrap up to, to put things together. Firstly, I want to tell you that what has happened today is like deja vu, it's like it's karma. PF did the same thing. They sponsored a political party. They even allowed that political party to go to, to registrar of societies to change names. They even started recognizing the other function on public functions. In other whatever, whatever, they started recognizing it. And I blame them. I blame them as a ruling party then to what they did to MMD. Today, what has happened, I don't think I can blame it on, 
on the ruling party because this started within and I strongly believe that even Mao Sampa, the money that he's using, might actually not be coming from outside. It might be coming from within. It might be coming from within. For people, from the people that are against Edgar Chagwalungu, there are a number of people that are frustrated, upset with Edgar Lungu. They could easily sponsor Mao Sampa. What has happened is very serious. And the solution is not going to come court. Going Kuma Koti, Mao Sampa has got the power that be on his side. PF is no longer in power. If they did so many wrong things when they were in power, what can stop UPND from doing the same? So they should be very careful when they are going to the police, when they are going to Kuma Koti, they are not in power. Tables have changed. This, the government system is not listening from them to them, no. The best solution is basically to have Edgar Lungu step aside, have that convention, and hopefully they elect a person that is reasonable, who can engage all the factions and put PF together. That is my submission for tonight. This is exclusive all right that's all for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go